Hello Arcanics family, we are back with another great welding video and for today's episode guys, we're going to be doing a 3 inch, we're going to be doing 309 stainless to carbon, stay tuned. Okay guys, before we actually get onto the welding part, um, there's a couple of things that I need you guys to have if you're out there at your house practicing, um, at your shop, at work, at school, you know, wherever you at guys practicing, make sure you have these things around. Okay, you're gonna need a tape. Uh, preferably, I recommend a 3M yellow tape. It tends to stick on the pipe uh, with a good grip. It won't come off like the white tapes. They get hot and they just, they just lip off of the pipe. So I highly recommend this yellow tape guys. Um, in this uh, case, we're gonna be using a clear lens. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the back of the pipe. Now that my camera man could get some uh, good art shots. We're gonna be using our uh, Monster TIG wig with the tank cup and a 1.8 tungsten. We're gonna be using our 308, uh, I'm sorry, 309 uh, filler rod. And uh, we need our purge line, okay? Now guys, for your purge line, make sure you always have a rag or a filter at the end of the line. Um, if you don't, um, it's not gonna be the same. It's gonna come out um, black from the inside. So if you want that shiny look on your root, make sure you have a filter or a rag at the end of, of your uh, purge line. Now, before we actually uh, go ahead and set up everything, I have to pack my pipes, okay? We're gonna be doing a bridge sack method. Um, when you're doing uh, stainless steel, it's way better to do bridge tacks because um, the less tie-ins, guys, the better, okay? You're trying to have as less tie-ins as you can, so we're going to go with the bridge tack method, and um, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we're going to get uh, tacked in right now, and um, a lot of people tend to struggle while actually... Um, doing a bridge tag okay and doing that bridge tag guys is a uh, it's actually easier than it looks okay it's really easy all you gotta do is uh, kind of take it drop by drop okay you're gonna add a drop on the bottom and then take your rod out point your tungsten up and add a drop on top and you're gonna repeat the same thing drop on bottom drop on top drop on bottom drop on top until they're actually able to uh, connect but you have to be quick at it what Bro, what are you talking about, man? Quick, sorry. You have to be quick with it, okay? You can't be going slow. Uh, if you do go slow, it's gonna just drip on you. So you gotta do it quick. One drop of the drop of the drop. Ready, Tata? Okay guys, uh, um, I got my pipe tacked up and uh, it's ready to go. I got it on a 5G position and as you can see, this is how I do my bridge tags, okay? Uh, so that if you wanna come get a little little shot of the bridge tags that I, uh, that I do, guys, I like to make them pretty thick. That way when I get to the welding process, um, they don't break on me or my pipe warps on me. You know, it keeps the same gap all the way around. So whenever you're doing your bridge tags, make sure you do your bridge tags um, uh, good and uh, reinforce enough to hold that that pressure okay guys so we have it purged and ready to go guys we're about to start our welding process now one important thing guys um when you're actually doing 309 or stainless steel whatever the case might be that you're working on um, it's very important um, that you do little holes on your uh, on your tape okay one two and three it's very important um, just for the fact that um, you can't have too much argon pressure inside. If not, it's gonna tend to push it out and uh, it's not gonna give you that good uh, slick bead all around. Um, so make sure you, you get your um, little holes on the end of the tape. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started, guys. Um, stay tuned. Uh, let's see how it comes out, guys. Okay, guys, we got our purge flowing. And um, the easy way just to go Look ahead and check dude. the purge is... Uh, <laughs> 
guys we got our purge flowing guys and the easy way to go ahead and check your purge is basically just lick your knuckle and if you feel cold on your knuckle then that means you got a good purge guys okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started now what i'm gonna be doing today the technique that i'm gonna be uh doing on this uh three inch pipe guys is i'm gonna do the drop by drop method okay now when you're doing on a small pipe like this it's better to go out with a drop by drop that way you can get the good wetting bed all the way around now when you got a bigger pipe a six inch six inch eight inch whatever the case might be i tend to just go ahead and take it like carbon okay so but for today we're going to do a drop by drop um we're going to be running at 80 amps on our max star 200 and again i'm going to be using the back uh the back fitting method uh again with a tank cup and my tongue tin stuck out enough to reach inside the bevel and um with further ado guys a little cool cool trick that i got under the sleeve is um when you're gonna do go ahead and do uh stainless just feed your rod through the top and uh the tape itself is gonna help you um position that rod the way you want it and at the angle that you want so um so that's how let's go ahead and get ready brother and let's do this route Okay guys, so we're starting out on root pads, and like I said before, we're gonna be doing a drop by drop technique. Um, it's very important that you just don't drop it in the middle or don't know where to position your rod. It's very important that you choose a side, okay? This time right here, I chose my left uh, knife edge bevel, and um, it's very important that whenever you go to your left bevel, you dip it and then you bring down the material to with you to your right bevel. And you gotta see that wall kind of keyholing. And uh, after that, it's all go, guys. Just uh, keep repeating the same process. Um, keep your rod on the whichever, you know, right or left bevel. And then from there, just try to keep it there at all times and just repeat the same thing. And um, that'll be it. Okay guys, now we went ahead and did our uh, left side of the pipe and it's looking good. Now I went ahead and grinded the bottom part um, because remember it's always important to grind the bottom part. That way you could tie in and everything looks like one whole bead. But after grinding guys, it's very, very important um, that you guys uh, open up your, your, your tape and let that purge um, take out all the oxygen that your, that your grinder put in. As it was spinning inside, it threw in a bunch of particles that are not supposed to be there so make sure you let your pipe um open with the purge open for a good two minutes get all the oxygen all the bad stuff out and then go ahead and uh, do it again if you don't do that it's gonna get dark and ugly so you don't want that that's a busted test guys so make sure you take uh take your time on it and um let the, the oxygen come out and let's go ahead and uh, do this side but after we let it rest for a good two minutes okay guys now when you're actually dipping your rod you gotta make sure that you do it drop after drop guys okay don't take too long to add the other drop up the other drop if not it's gonna tend to keyhole and it's gonna get wide okay so remember when you're doing drop by drop do it one after another one after another <laughs> Okay guys, so we already went ahead and did both of our bottom sides. Now, what I'm gonna actually do, it's uh, I'm gonna run it from, um, I say nine, all the way to 12 guys, okay? I'm gonna do it all in one, and remember it's drop by drop. We're using um, 309, and there's a 1 8 rod. Okay guys, now when you're in a testing lab, 
and there's a bunch of people welding with you your uh, your argon pressure on your purge tends to go down and like I said again like I said in the beginning guys um, to check your uh, your purge lick your knuckle and make sure you feel the cold on uh, on your knuckles okay now when the pipe is hot you're not gonna be able to feel that that uh, that argon coming coming out the pipe so what you could do is uh, grab a lighter just put the lighter right there on the gap if the lighter turns off that means you got a good purge or you could get a little string out of a t-shirt or something and put the string on there and if you see the little string kind of waving up and down that means you got a good purge guys Okay guys, here is our finished root, or 309, which is stainless to carbon root. I took a drop by drop method, and um, it came out pretty good guys. And like I said, if you guys want that good wedding band root all the way around guys, make sure you take it drop by drop. And um, Cesar, if you can get a little shot from the inside, that'll be great, brother. Okay, now if you guys can see on the top side, it's a little bit flat, but, um. When you're doing purge on whatever whatever um, material it might be, when you're purging your pipe, guys, um, it tends to stay a little flat on top because of the purge. It's no big deal. Remember, just make sure you feather down your um, where you stop. Just make sure you feather it down real good, where, you, where you're able to see the blue, um, the blue color when you're grinding it. Um, and then after that, guys, just make sure you take it drop by drop slowly. Make sure you see that uh, that puddle tie in good. And you're gonna be good guys okay so now we're gonna go ahead and uh throw in the hot pass fillers and cap it out okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and run our hot pass for our hot pass guys we're gonna be running at 125 amps okay it's very important that you don't go too high you don't want to get sucked back on your room on your root and bust your test guys okay so we want to take it um kind of low you know 125 amps for the first hot pass and after that guys it's go time with the you know go ahead and fill it up at 160 175 whatever amps you might be comfortable with okay if you're a beginner uh, make sure to you know don't go too hot um, take it at a low amp per that way you could just go smooth with it but if you're somebody that's been practicing for a while make sure you practice on your speed filling it up quicker and all of that okay so we're gonna go ahead and run our hot pads 125 amps one eighth wire okay uh, I probably forgot to mention that for my root, but for my root pass, guys, it was also 1 8 with a 316 gap. Okay, it's 1 8 309 wire. We're gonna do 1 8 um, all the way around, okay, from the root, hot pass, all the way to my cap.
Okay guys, we already went ahead and did that hot press. And um, what I'm gonna do now guys is I'm gonna try to go ahead and flush it out with the next uh, pass that I'm gonna do on it. But for that I'm gonna be doing a freehand method. And um, you guys are gonna see um, on the art shot right now how I'm placing my rod and um, the way that I move, okay? So basically just a little quick motion with no arc or anything. So I, it's basically real simple guys. All you're gonna do is um, keep the rod on your on your on your uh, left side. Once you come to the left side, you're gonna push, and then you're gonna go back. Left, push, go back. Left, push, and go back. And you're gonna repeat that same process all the way around. Okay guys, so we got our pipe flush guys and ready to cap. We're gonna be capping at 155 amps. And again, we're using one eight, one eight rod.
Okay guys, well there you have it. The 309 stainless steel carbon tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped if everybody and each one of you out there practicing at home, wherever you guys at, uh, make sure you dedicate yourself to welding guys, man. Welding is a state of the art, man. So whenever you're doing it, you gotta be passionate about it. Um, do it good so you can get some nice weeds, some nice colors, okay? And like I said, this is our final product from 309 stainless steel carbon. As you can see, it says that if you can get a little, little, little shot from the side. Real, real nice colors. Come on this side and get one on this side. There you go. From the bottom, so you can get the bottom. All the way from the bottom. Okay, now guys, very important, very, very important. I still have my argon rolling, okay? It's still, it's still, um, my argon is still flowing. As you can see, the pipe is actually really, really, really hot. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that tape. I'm gonna check that root for any uh, um, suck back, whatever. You know, you gotta check it before you actually present it out to the QC. So let's go ahead and take a little look inside. How a root looks. perfect, perfect, perfect. Real, real good. Okay, guys, well, there you have it. Another good tutorial for me, uh, school director of Supreme Welding Academy. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time.